Bill Cameron for PropertyInvestors.com I'm on site here at a property that I bought a couple of months ago I'm going to take you for a walk through and around the property Can you actually see a house here? Behind me there's a house <laughs> I'll go ahead and take this off camera and show you around When I first arrived here I wondered what this really was. I couldn't see a house. But when you get beyond the hedge, there's, there's actually a house there. An old weatherboard. This was a deceased estate. The fella died, obviously. It had been let go a long time. It's pretty old. take you for a quick walk through as is and before any renovations done you see that beautiful light green 1970s or 80s paint <laughs> we began painting in here with an undercoat the walls are reasonably level and straight so we just this is just going to be painted and something done to the floor, possibly laminate, a cheap laminate. And not much more than that done, because this place will get knocked down in five or eight years' time. So in the meantime, it'll just be rented to get a little bit of income and it'll be a positive cash flow. This is the second bedroom. Little room there where I've been hanging out this is the kitchen what a mess there's the old wood stove a little bit more of the kitchen pretty rough as you can see all this has got to be cleaned out toilet pretty feral toilet that needs a good scrub up and paint through here to a little shower where there's been an extension put out the back just switch this light on little shower room that's a second hand kitchen I've purchased that'll go in the kitchen later on when it's been painted and this will turn into a little wash house nothing flash but what is spectacular is the size of the block that came with this deal. I'll take you for a run right down to the back. Oh, too old for this. This block is 138 metres deep. Here we go through the green pastures. It's a beautiful sunny day for filming. That's the back of the block where those cypress trees are. That's the neighbour's fence. And that's all the neighbour's yard. The block beside it has a, a shed and they've done nothing else. Years ago there was a house there. I know the fellow that helped them tear that down. I'll be putting a couple of lawnmowers in here in the form of sheep. And they'll eat down this grass. Probably call one lamb roast and the other one lamb chop. Bit of a fire there, we've been burning off a heap of stuff. There was eight or nine huge and trailer loads of junk came out of this place pre-auction. Lots of rubbish and mess and there was a hoarder that lived here and it's been a lot cleaned up. So as you can see, all this block down there is developable. It's in zone 
residential one so you can build townhouses on here and there's a plan to put six townhouses on here over the long term eventually we'll do one at a time <laughs> catching my breath back I'm a bit unfit there's some old sheds here there's just lots of old sheds I'm beginning to collect some doors and a few other bits and pieces for renovations there's a wheelchair for when I'm 98 and decrepit some other things there pretty rough sort of a shed the only reasonably good part of this property will probably remain after the re development's done is that shed as you can see there and I'll take you through this little interesting bit of material I don't know what it is but I think it's off a truck pretty ancient I might restore that perhaps someone will rent it for $30 a night for bed and breakfast <laughs> it is the shed my mate dropped some firewood off the other day that's the shed as you can see we've landed here in a bit of a rush we've dumped materials and things in the shed here and everywhere tons of sheds, all these sheds will come down eventually but in the meantime it'll be able to be used see the yard and everything it's just it's let go and all this will get tidied up I've just did the process of constructing this fence which will be a divider I've cut a hole immediately through that hedge the first day I set foot on the property and created a driveway up there where I won't disturb tenants that will be living in here they'll be able to access from the front driveway there's the old white van still there that I began this investing career homeless in hello old white van there's the house so this is a development project and it's positive cash flow in the meantime and have a look at fourpropertyinvestors.com for a few more videos and updates and uh, I'll bring you another update when when um, that gets done there'll be a few months I, I've set a goal to finish this property and have it rentable by Christmas 2010 and that should be achievable as soon as it gets paint I'll just show you the roof too see the roof how it's rusty I've bought some aluminium paint to go on that okay I better sign off I'm nearly up to um, 8 or 10 minutes and that's the limit for YouTube videos ciao